Hi, my name is Raymond Jim Naid. I'm the founder of LCRC and we are a review center. We are offering uh, online CPA review. And what's new with our online CPA review? Uh, by the way, you can visit us at MMNs, uh, mmco.com.ph slash e-learning slash and then when you uh, reach this site click on e-learning cpa review lectures and then cpa le batch may 2020 so what's new here is uh let's open taxation because i'm also a lecturer of taxation what's new here is that at each lecture uh, there is the name of the reviewer and then there is also the topic click on this it talks about capital gain stocks now this is a cpa review for may 2020 it started in uh the first lecture was november 9 but this taxation is uh, november 16 2019 so even if it shows the the topic as capital gain tax you will see in part one by the way part one up to part six is just one whole day eight hours so if you want to look into the, the breakdown of the total of one day you will see here the topics in here he started with taxable income for individuals and corporations because when you are talking about capital gains tax you cannot avoid but the first percent by way of introduction taxation for individual and corporation then as you discuss then you will identify the capital gains taxation and then in here you will see the timestamps and then the topic and then uh, at 6 minutes and 40 seconds this talks about capital gains tax on ordinary assets versus capital assets and then at 56 minutes and 15 seconds talks about types of gains on dealings etc so if you're particularly interested in a certain topic you don't really have to go through the whole eight hour lecture and we are just uh, specifically interested in just one topic just scroll and then click the the part one part of party and look at the specific topic that you want to focus on so that saves us a lot of time that will save you a lot of time in this handout you can you can scroll it down and then click the the down button it's a total of 21 you will see that there are illustrations here and problems being uh, solved as well and then this one there are computations and then the answers will be discussed by the reviewer himself so it's a total of 21 pages you can zoom and then you can zoom in zoom out zoom in and then going back here let's let's start with this one we have so if you so want to move forward we only forward. have two transactions that are subject to capital gains tax one is if you sell a real property which you are holding as a capital asset that's subject to capital gains tax so you see the the video is very clear you can actually uh, make a full screen here click the full screen and then escape to go back so let's uh, use the full screen here and then continue if you are selling shares which is not listed with the PSE you can further increase and you the, sold it direct to the, the buyer sound. then that is subject to capital gains tax of 15 percent so that's 15 or 6 6 for real property 15 for shares of stocks this will be our discussion today the capital gain stocks now um, okay if you want to go straight to the uh, types of gains and dealings in property you can click on 56 minutes and 15 seconds like this one 
56 and 9 anyways yeah 56 and 41 so you can stress this what's the gain ordinary capital ordinary you sell you factor your AR and you have a gain ordinary or capital Purposes of tax, AR is capital. AR is capital. Because the, the description of ordinary under the tax code are limited only to four items. One that is you are use, you are holding as an inventory. Second, one that you're holding as available for sale. Kasi possible na yung mga inventories may not for sale. They are for, for conversion into final process materials. So inventory, for sale, and those you are holding, which is you are using for business. Assets that are subject to depreciation and you are holding it, and, and you are using it for your business. Fourth category, real properties, which is building and land, or both, which is used in the business. So those are... Okay, now if you want to go to another lecture, let's go back here. There's another example is a part. So you have here um, Sir Oli Casuneda. He discussed about partnership con formation in, and installment accounting. And then later on, business combinations. IFRS and then liquidation of corporation, etc. etc. Let's click on this one and see what's inside. So just the same, you have here the lecture notes, handouts, 25 uh, pages, and then you have problems. Okay, it's uh, 13 pages, lecture number two, installment accounting, and then problems, 22 pages. So when we play the video, you just have to go through the, the lecture notes and the problems as, the, as they are being discussed. In this part one, you can see it discusses about partnership formation, the background, and then partnership formation, solving problems. Let's try this one just to oh, see partnership. how we discuss it. Now, I will be talking That's about fun. the... Forward the logic. Dito sa apat, palagay nyo ano yung pinakamadali. Pinakamadali, operations. Bakit? You just need to follow instruction. Ano yung pinakamahirap? Ha? Dissolution or liquidation? Okay, ito yung pinakamahirap. Bakit? Sometimes it's very confusing. Diba? But, I will show you how to make this as simple as possible. Clear? Okay. Pwede maging simple lang ang dissolution. Kung alam natin yung mga dapat gawin and tama yung magiging analysis natin. This now will be our adjusted capital. Okay. So whenever I solve for partnership formation, nakita ko may sole proprietor, kagad, anong kinuha ko? Capital beginning. Hindi ko muna binabasa yung problem. Forward a little bit. This is what we need to concentrate on. Ito lang ang susundan natin. Pero, there are things that we have to be very careful with when we talk about formation. What are these things? One is, whenever there are adjustments relating to our receivables. Okay. Pag may receivables, malaki ang chance na magkakamali tayo. So, mag-ingat tayo dito. Second, PPE. Okay. Dito, kahit PPE lang, pwede tayo magkamali. Uh, you will find out later. Paano tayo magkakamali dito sa PPE? And the last is, when you are getting total assets in the new partnership, especially if we adjust our liabilities. Kung wala ito, napakadali lang ng formation. Pero all as na nakita tayo ng adjustments sa receivable PPE okay. and tinatanong yung total just, assets na may adjustments sa liabilities, you have to be extra. The other thing is we are giving away free access to four different kinds of persons. Number one, we are giving away for free to those who have Latin honors, cum laude, 
Manja kong laude, suma kong laude. And then, uh, those who are conditional in their CPA board exam. For those who are Latin honors, the qualification is you should be a graduate uh, from 2016 up to 2020. And then, the third one is the condition, uh, the uh, dean's listers. If you are a second year college and you are a consistent dean's lister, then you are qualified. If you are on your fourth year and then you were delisted from the dean's list, so you are no longer qualified. And then last one is any student whose family does not earn more than 250000 per year. Say for example, your father is earning 150000 pesos per year. Your mother is 99,000 pesos in total less than 250, then you are qualified. There are just a very minimal uh, documentary requirements which we'll be sharing with you uh, later on. Just contact us in our uh, email address and then two cell phones. Email address is lcrc.mmco.elearning at gmail.com. Our contact numbers are 0917. 626-3149 and then 0917-623-9640. Anyway, we will be writing all of these contact uh, details towards the end of the video and also in the write-up. So that is uh, all. Those are the two uh, items that are new and uh, I hope you will be contributing to your CPA journey and I hope you like this video as well. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.